Hello everyone. I'm Keita Yokoyama. He is Yusuke Fukazawa, uh, coming from uh, NT Docomo from Japan. Now I'm going to talk about our approach, network centrality, and human knowledge combination. Our first step is a firmly discussion about the challenges. What the factors uh, to predict the rankings? We draw up eight assumptions associated with the rankings. Uh, so we confirm these assumptions use, by using a given data set in machine learning and public data in heuristic approach. Our approach can divide into two parts, machine learning and heuristic approach. So now I'd like to introduce machine learning part. We only use four kinds of features. Especially, we focus on network centralities because uh, MAG dataset is a graph data. So, uh, network, uh, three major indexes about the network centralities have a relationship with the rail score. So, it is useful to predict the uh, rail scores. And we make a stacking model for each conference. Uh, as you know, uh, stacking model it can get a high accuracy. Uh, as you can see, uh, the score of layer 2 is higher than layer 0. So far, I explained about our, our machine learning part. Now, I move on to heuristic approach. The, this table shows the uh, institutional rankings at uh, GCOM. Uh, Institution field in red is a sandling appeared in top 20s. They are not uh, haven't accepted in previous years, or only once have accepted. We determine why this institution suddenly appeared. Uh, we find there are three uh, broad reasons about suddenly appears. For example, uh, hidden ability. They have never accepted workshop paper, uh, full paper, but they are accepted workshop paper or short paper in previous year. So we manually check accepted uh, short paper and uh, short, re uh, short paper in previous year. By using this useful information from public data, uh, we manually adjusted the real score after the predicting in machine learning part. So this is the uh, end of our, uh, my short talk. <laughs> Thank you for uh, kindly listening. This is our team member.